Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can minimize a boolean function by tabulation method. To minimize a boolean function by tabulation method, first we have to find the prime implicants. Prime implicants are the candidate terms for inclusion in the simplified function. After this, we select the prime implicants, which will be included in the simplified function. Now, suppose there is a function f. It is of four variables, a, b, c, and d. And it is the sum of main terms, m0, m1, m2, m8, m10, m11, and m14. Now, first of all, we will find the binary representation of these min terms. So, here I have found the binary representations of all these min terms. This is the representation of min term M0. This is the representation of min term M1. This is the binary representation of min term M2. This is the binary representation of min term M8. This is of m10 this is of m11 and this is of m14 now we have to divide these binary representation of main terms into into different groups depending on the number of ones they contain now this uh, Binary representation of min term has no one. There is no one in this binary representation. So it is in a different group. These binary representations, they have only one one. Here there is only a single one. In this representation also, there is only a single one. And this binary representation of min term also has a single one. So they are in a different group. Now, here in this binary representation, there are two ones. So it is in a different group. Now, here in these two binary representations, the binary representations of uh, min terms, these two binary representations of min term has three ones. So they are in different group. Now, The min terms which differ by only one variable will be combined and unmatched variable should be removed. That is, it means binary representation of min terms which differ by only one bit should be combined and unmatched bit should be removed. And we will put a dash at its place. Right? And this procedure will be repeated until there are no binary numbers which differ by only one bit. Uh, the term corresponding to the binary numbers which we get in AND will be prime implicants. Now we have to find the binary representation of min terms which differ by only one bit. And they should be combined also and uh, the unmatched bit should be removed and we will put a dash in place of that bit for this we will uh, compare the number of one group with the number of next down group right because this group has zero number of ones, this group has one number of ones, this group has two number of ones, this group has three number of ones. And we have to find the numbers uh, which differ by only one bit. We will compare the number of one group with the number of next group which is written below it, right? So number of this group will be compared with the number of this group. 
a number of this group will be compared with the number of this group a number of this group will be compared with number of this group so now look at these two numbers these two numbers differ by only the rightmost bit so we will combine these two numbers and uh, place dash in place of this mismatching bit now compare this number with this number the, now these two numbers are also differ by this bit here it is 0 and here it is 1 so again here we have removed this bit and placed a dash Now again compare this number with this number they differ only by this leftmost bit so combine them and remove this bit and place a dash in place of that bit here I have written the decimal equivalent of the numbers which are combined to form this term this term is formed by the combination of these two numbers 0 1 so I have placed here 0 1 this term is formed by the combination of 0 and 2 so I have written here 0 2 and this is formed by the binary numbers whose equivalent are 0 and 8 so I have written here 0 and 8 now compare the numbers of this group with the number of this group Look at this number whose decimal equivalent is 2. When compared with this number whose decimal equivalent is 10, they differ only by the leftmost bit. Here it is 0, here it is 1. So I have combined these two numbers and written their decimal equivalent and replaced the mismatching bit by dash. Now compare the number 8 and 10 they differ only by this bit here it is 0 here it is 1 so again I have combined these two numbers and replaced the mismatching bit by dash I have written decimal equivalents also of the terms uh, means of the binary numbers which are combined to form this number Now compare the number of this group with the number of the, this group. Now when this number is compared with this number, they differ only by rightmost bit. So here in place of uh, that bit, we have placed a dash. We have combined these two numbers. Now compare this number with this number they differ only by this bit I have placed dash also here and combined these two numbers I have written the decimal equivalents of the numbers which have combined to form these terms this number is formed by the combination of these two numbers whose decimal equivalents are 10 and 11 so I have written here 10 and 11 same here I have written here 10 and 14 now again I have to repeat this procedure for these new numbers right now the number of this group will be compared with the number of this group a number of this group will be compared with the number of this group now when we compare we should compare only those numbers which have dash at the same bit position now here the dash is at the rightmost position so in this group there is no number which has dash at rightmost position right so it uh, would not be compared with any number here in this group 
this number has dash here so when we compared it with we have found a number this which has dash at the same bit position now when we compare these two numbers they differ only by one bit that is this one that is the leftmost bit so we will combine these two numbers to form a new number right that's this dash zero dash zero now when we compare this number with the numbers of this group then we will find this number right here they differ only by one bit that is this one so we will combine them and uh, replace the mismatching bit by dash so what we got dash 0 dash 0 now compare the number of this group with the number of this group here we will not found any numbers which uh, differ only by one bit right now the terms which have combined to form a new term have been marked by blue right these terms this one they have not combined with anyone this term is also not combined with anyone so i have marked them by green right now these next terms are formed right these are new terms now we have to repeat the procedure for them now we don't have any number which differ by only one bit so here we will leave the procedure so the terms which are left with us are this one this one this one this one and this one now look at this binary number 00 dash now we have to find what it represents now here as uh, i have told you only uh, the numbers which are marked by green are left right they represent prime implicants now we have to find the prime implicants right now 00, zero dash represents a naught b naught c naught because this bit corresponds to the binary variable a this bit corresponds to the binary variable b and uh, this bit corresponds to the binary variable c and this bit corresponds to the binary variable d and this bit is missing right here rightmost bit is missing so the prime implicant which is represented by this number doesn't have the binary variable d and a b c are in its complement form because the bit corresponding to them is zero now this is a uh, this number is also left which has not been combined with anyone and i have marked it with green one zero one dash one zero one dash represents a b not c here now next is this one dash one zero it represents a c d naught now these are also left dash zero dash zero dash zero dash zero represents b complement and t complement so these are the prime implicants which we have found now we have to select which prime implicants should be included in the simplified boolean function this thing we will discuss in next tutorial.